to this day, I've been here for years and I still don't understand the mystery of Japanese people and them not being able to sweat. It is literally hundreds of degrees out here right now. And I don't see nobody sweating, except me. It's nuts. What's up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Casual, friend of casual.co. Today is a special day. It's a hot day, so yeah, I'm suffering out here, but the show must go on. Today, we're gonna do a mini episode for you guys. Just a mini one, not too long, not too short, but definitely important. So on your next trip to Tokyo, you definitely need to go secondhand shopping. That's like one of the main things that you're probably going to do if you're watching this channel. However, you gotta know where to go, which places are the best places. So this video, I'm gonna take you to three, maybe four, not sure if I'm gonna let go of all of my secrets, but at least three that you must visit. Now this is particularly if you're looking for secondhand designer archival fashion. That's what we're covering here today. So without further ado, let's get it. I probably should tell you this as people start laughing at me in the back, but a lot of these stores that I'm taking you to are franchises. So you can find them in places like Shimokitazawa, of course you find them in Harajuku, you can find them in Shinjuku. So if you go to any of the major fashion hubs, you're very likely to find these in different places. That's the glory of the places that I'm taking you to right now. So it really doesn't matter what area you're in. If you're in a fashion area, the likelihood of you finding these stores is incredibly high. All right, so the first spot is Trayfac, and Trayfac is a great shop, mainly because it's like a hodgepodge of secondhand designer and vintage and archival fashion. You're not gonna find everything, and it's not organized the best, but it is simply one of those places where not a lot of people know about it, so you're gonna be able to find some stuff that not a lot of people know. Another plus is that you can buy and sell here, so if you have some used designer, secondhand stuff that you wanna get rid of, from any of the major brands. They don't mess with kind of small brands like that. It has to be like major. So any of the brands that are kind of like mid-tier and up, they'll take it. So you can buy sell stuff here, you could trade here, which is also a great, and pretty much all these stores you can do that. That's really a plus to all this. Just make sure that your quality is up there when you do start giving away those things. But Trayfac is a good start. You're gonna find some great items and some great stuff. So definitely one of my, this is actually one of my secrets. I don't really tell that many people about this, so. Check it out, Trayfac style. All right, so the next one is the store that's right behind me. It's actually a tower. Let's go ahead and check it out. That is Bass Store. Now, Bass Store is a little bit different. And don't let it fool you because it can. When you go in, it's kind of like your run of the mill secondhand shop. Unlike Tray Factory, when you go in, there's all this designer stuff all over the place. You don't really have to worry about it. It's just right, it hits you right in the face. But this place, it's a tower. You go up. You'll find some great stuff. In fact, I found a couple of awesome pieces at Bad Store locations. Again, many locations throughout Japan, throughout every fashion area, you're gonna find one. So once you go up those stairs and you're hit with like Yoji, you're hit with Comme des Garçons, Dior, and all that kind of crazy stuff, you're going out of your mind. But these places right here, definitely Bad Store. In fact, that is just a pro tip for anywhere in Japan. If you're looking for a place, don't just look left and right, look up and down because Japan, how it's built, or Tokyo rather, it's built vertically and not just horizontally. So look up, find more stuff, go up some stairs, don't be intimidated. All right, so our second to last place, meaning that it's pretty much its second best in all of Japan. I, I may, that may be hyperbole, that may be just due to my own experience, but it is pretty much amazing, and that is Second Street. Now, Second Street is another one of those vintage places that has a little bit more of a hodgepodge of stuff. Doesn't just have designer stuff. It has some stuff that you can kind of put together, and typically stuff tends to be a little bit older, but when I say it's second best, I also mean that it's probably one of the most popular and successful secondhand shops ever, mainly because they actually have a store out in California, so they're expanding. Usually it's just Japan, but this one expanded out west and offers a ton of stuff. 
again, as you go in, different levels are gonna give you different quality of stuff and you're gonna get some archival, you're gonna get some branded stuff in there. So it's really just a mixture of things and they also have old school vintage stuff. So like if you want a oversized Levi's jacket from like 1993, you can find it in a place like Second Street. But it's definitely worth checking out. It's one of the more robust vintage secondhand whatever shops. So you're gonna find a lot and you're gonna find some gems. It is definitely a place to go through and it's definitely worth checking out. So go to Second Street, promise you, you won't be disappointed. All right, so I said three, but uh, I almost said four. So I said three or four and I'm gonna give you four. So my favorite place period to go secondhand shopping, particularly if I'm looking for secondhand archival stuff. There is none better, none better than this one right here. That's Ragtag. And this is just a small location, but Ragtag has so many locations and some a lot bigger than this. But what's great about them is that each of them kind of takes on the personality of their neighborhood, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a robust, a magnanimous selection. The selection is crazy at Ragtag. You can even go online and you can see how much stuff that they actually have at each and every one of their stores. You're gonna find everything. Softnet, Supreme, Stussy, Jordan, Yoshi Yamamoto, Comme des Garçons, uh, Sakai, anything that you want know, about, anything that you needles, anything that you can think of. Seriously, if you hit up Japan and you see a ragtag location, you need to make a beeline. Now, I did cover one when we went into Amotosando and we went to Cat Street or Harajuku Amotosando Corridor, Cat Street. That's the biggest one that you're gonna find. But there's also another one in Shibuya, and I believe there's there's ones everywhere. It's one of the premier spots that you have to check out if you're looking for crazy stuff. Now, one of the great things about Ragtag, the quality is always high. So contrast that to like Second Street, a bass store, I kind of collect a middling degree of quality. Ragtag is almost always gonna have great quality. So if you're looking for the highest quality available, Ragtag is there and they actually have a grading system. Fumbling over my words. They actually have a grading system that you can check. So from S to A to B to C to D, that you can just check it on the tag. You can also buy and sell your stuff here as well. So the whole shebang and you get the best quality, ragtag, but they may not have everything. So you wanna check out all of the stores that I showed you. And that's what I got for you on this overly hot Tokyo day. Those are my four spots that you should definitely check out when it comes to secondhand designer archival fashion in Tokyo. Like I said, all of these locations have several locations throughout every fashion hub. So no matter where you go, you're going to find a location. And like I said, each one has its own character depending on what area you go to. So if you go to Shimo Kitazawa, it's gonna have a more Shimo Kitazawa vibe. If you go to Harajuku, more Harajuku, Motosando, Motosando, and so on and so forth. So don't miss out. There's just a ton of places to go and the character precedes itself. Hopefully you enjoyed some of these places, but here's the kicker. There are a ton more that I did not show you and we're gonna show them right here on the casual when we have the time and hopefully when it's less scorching hot outside. I mean, it's seriously, I'm about, I, I, I might as well just off myself right now. But that being said, if you wanna see more places in Japan or if you want to visit a place in particular that you know about and you really haven't seen in a while or you would like to see, let it be known in the comments. Also, if you wanna get in on some extra content, our brand building series class, as well as our private Discord, join us up on Patreon, join us on Patreon. I don't know if that's a good pitch or not, but join us on Patreon. You get a whole slew of content, plus some extra goodies and all that good stuff. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. And I will see you guys in a minute. I'm actually gonna get out of here, out of the heat. I'll see you guys in a minute.